What's up, YouTube? This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming. Have you been spreading democracy across the galaxy? Having trouble being stomped by bugs and bots? Here's a beginner's guide to help you get through the early levels. First thing, you want to change your settings. Go to Options. Go to Gameplay. Set Remember Weapons Functions to Yes. Switch Weapon on Pickup to No. Dynamic Aim Mode to Yes and allow data collection to no. This will help you switch from third person to first person when aiming and remember what your weapons were set to. Next, go to display, turn camera shake off. Explosions are intense and can make it hard to see clearly. Go to graphics, turn motion blur off, set depth of field to off and sharpness to max. Then go to HUD, Set primary objective to visible, reticle visibility to visible. This will allow you to aim in third person. Set sample count to visible. Set player marker visibility to visible. This will help you avoid friendly fire. Turn on all compass markers, and this will make callouts with your team easier. Next, go to mouse and keyboard. Turn mouse smoothing off. Then go to key bindings. Here's where you want to change your climb to hold spacebar, change your dive to tap spacebar. This is a logical keybind that frees up a keybind slot by binding two essential functions to one easy to reach key. Next go to stratagems and change your arrow keys to up, down, left, and right. This will allow you to move while calling in a stratagem. Because if you don't, you will die as you stand there trying to enter the sequence and yelling out for freedom. Next tip, use macros. If your keyboard supports macros, program the stratagems to your function keys that you most frequently use, like reinforce to your F1 key and your next frequently used one to F2 and so on. If your keyboard does not support macros, you can use voice attack. I've set a link below in the video to allow you to program macros and activate either by voice command, like reinforce, and key press. This will allow you to get away from swarms or to get to cover while calling in your stratagems. Next, your armor and weapons. You will want to upgrade these items with medals you find and earn playing the game as it will make your life easier. Right now, armor ratings are bugged, so when you get enough metals, get light armor. This allows you to have better mobility. Since passive attributes work, you can choose from stealth, extra stims, extra grenades, throwing distance increased by 30%. This is good for throwing stratagems into the objectives from farther away so you don't draw a crowd. In this scenario, I will choose stims, which increases my stims from 4 to 6. These medium armors will give you a 50% chance not to die when taking lethal damage and prevents all damage from bleeding if the chest hemorrhages. They are similar in passive effects to the super citizen armor obtained through the DLC. Here's another tip. The SC-30 Trailblazer Scout Helmet will increase your speed by 6 and stamina by 3, but decrease your armor rating. You can find this in the Superstore on rotation. If you get the matching armor, you will be less detectable to enemies, which is good for sneaking around patrols and avoiding fights. One of the first upgrades you want is the grenade launcher stratagem. This will seal bug holes and destroy automaton facilities from a distance. The next useful upgrade is the supply pack. This allows you to resupply yourself and your squad mates as you burn through ammunition. This combination will help you in solo or multiplayer missions. Your other two stratagems should be Eagle Strike and Orbital Precision Strike. I still use the Eagle Strike as it has multiple uses before rearming and can take out structures and clusters of enemies. Ideally, it is best to work with a squad and use voice comms or pin items like objectives if you need supply or help. I'm going to show you how to get to the main objectives done. First, when you drop in, you want to quickly deploy any support weapons and backpacks without alerting nearby enemies. If you go prone or crouch, you are less likely to cause noise that will alert enemies. 
Next, you want to find the main objectives to the mission. In this case, it is to destroy two egg nests. Once you complete these objectives, you can extract, but if you have time, you can also complete the secondary Drop objectives for more me. XP and requisitions. Collect any samples along the way that are found, usually around nests and installations. Also, randomly in cargo containers and bunkers. Next tip, use stealth. Crouching or going prone decreases your chance of being detected. Using cover and avoiding the line of sight keeps you hidden. If you are detected, try to break line of sight as quickly as possible by changing direction using the pods to create smoke on the ground or using trees and rocks to dart behind. Next tip. Use your strikes first. Using your eagle strike and orbital precision strike can take out nests and facilities. If they don't completely destroy the structures or those strikes will still decrease the enemies you will face when you go into mop-up. Complete secondary missions. Destroying spore towers, activating radar and sief artillery, and uploading data from pods will give you XP and advantages. Radar will allow you to see more of the entire map. You will need to activate the terminal, rotate the dish until you hear the beep, and then follow the rest of the prompts. Seaf artillery will help you destroy the enemy. Think of it as an additional strategy. Grab all of the artillery shells. Look to load in the following priority. Mini nuke, high explosive, napalm, static field, and smoke. Drop the shells in front of the loader, then activate the terminal. Follow the prompts. You can use this to clear the extract area if it is overrun, or take out large numbers of enemies approaching the extract or destroy structures. This usually works best as a team, but if there are no enemies around, this can be done solo. Next tip. Drop samples at the extract. Hold the X key and rotate the samples to drop them just off center of the extract. This way, if you're being overrun, you can grab the samples as you dive into the pelican to extract. Build trust with your teammates. Well, you look cool, I buddy. hope these tips help you, you spread Walmart? managed democracy <laughs> and liberty to the galaxy. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, comment below on any future videos you'd like to see, or if you have any additional tips for newer cadets. This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. For democracy!